Hi guys, um, I'm here showing this video on how to download brute force save data um, and how to use uh, cheats uh, using your game files from your PS3. Um, it has other features as well, um, changing uh, region uh, saves um, and uh, of course ch uh, you can um, use it to uh, change um, uh, user accounts from different user accounts. But today I'm going to show how to download uh, brute force save data and uh, how to apply cheats to it. So first we're going to go to this site here. The link will be in the description. Um, you just go down here and you click download. I've already downloaded it many times so I don't really need to. But I'm showing you. So once you download it's going to come down this little box here. It's going to share. You're going to go over here if you don't know where it's going to go. I know mine is going to my desktop so I don't have to worry about that. If you can't find it then it will be in your downloads or you just click on here and it'll, when you click on that it'll you just go to show in folder and then this box will pop up or this window will pop up and then you brute force save data and you just drag it to your desktop okay you want to get out of this you know of course and then drag it to your desktop and it'll be right here I already have it ready so okay so if you have problems with that so then that's how you download brute force save data now once you get brute, once you download brute force save data you need to extract it because it's in a compressed file and it's compressed so you need to extract it and the way you extract it is with WinRAR. WinRAR is a different program that you need if you don't have you definitely need it to extract um, extract files and if you don't have it I can show you how to download it's very easy just go online go to Google type in download WinRAR and then of course you know download WinRAR now uh, you can either say download WinRAR for the 64 or download WinRAR for 32 bit the 64 and the 32 bit, bit are your operating system. Now, if you're running a 32 bit, then you will need the 32 bit WinRAR. If you weren't running a 64, then you need 64, of course. But make sure you know what operating system you're running. If you're not sure about that, then you should go into your little icon here, go to computer, go to systems properties, and it'll give you the specifications of your computer of what you're running, and it'll say system type. 64 bit operating system. That's which is mine. So if yours is 30 bit, it'll say 32 bit. Okay. So then you just go to, uh, you click on this, and then it'll take you to this site here, and it'll, it's a C, it's CNET, so it's a very safe site. Uh, we don't have to worry about bugs or virus and stuff like that. Uh, sa it's safe to, uh, it's safe to download. And you just click on this button here, and then the little thing will pop down here, and then of course you press open. And then if you can't find it, like I showed you before, you just go into your, your folder, and you'll find it. Okay. So now that's when you download. You download WinRAR. Okay. So if you don't have it already, okay. So once you have WinRAW, which is this, okay, um, you can now extract brute force save data, okay. And the way you extract it is by clicking on it, by highlighting it, and clicking on it, and then right click, and then you go to extract here, which is on the desktop, and then you just extract it. And then once you extract it, you'll gonna get these three icons. Okay, like this and then you're going to want to run it and once you run it right click again run at administrator yes and then the uh, wizard will pop up and you just go with the prompts I agree and then um, it'll show you the destination of the portal where the program is going to be downloaded to and it's going to go in your 86 files okay and then of course you just leave it like this and next and then install it then you wait for it to install just like that, okay. And then this uh, prompt will, error prompt will show up. Don't worry about that. Uh, just ignore it. And then let it finish. And once it's finished, click on finish. And then this box will pop up, and it'll say brute force save data, ex file, exe file system error. Um, and it'll say the program cannot start because the MS VBVM50 is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix the problem. Okay, well, your computer might not do that or it might not do that for you. But for those who have this problem, I can show how to deal with this problem if you have this problem. If it doesn't pop up, then you're fine. If it does, then I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so you just press OK. And then you go to this one and you run it as, as well, run as administrator, and then yes, and then the box will show, show up again. 
you just press OK. No problem. And then you just go online. You just cancel out of this. Go back on your, you know, go to your web browser or whatever. And just uh, click, you know, type in this right here. Type in this right here. You need to go to Mediafire and you need to type in it. And this link will be in the description, so don't worry about that either. But if it's not in the description for some reason, then just type in this here. And then you want to type in this exactly, and then you'll get this site here. And this is the file right here that's missing. Okay? This is the file that you need for the brute force save data to run properly. Okay? So once you got this site up, you're going to see this file. It's going to be the download button here, which is in green. You download it. Of course, do the same thing, you know, if you can't find it or whatever. So, you know, just go and find it in your folder or whatever it's, uh, it's downloaded to. And then... Um, Mine goes to my desktop and it'll be right here. Okay, so now I got brute force date data and then I got the, the file that I'm looking for. And of course, this file is compressed as well, which you need WinRAW to extract with. So you're going to extract this with WinRAW here. Okay, and then this will pop up. This is you have the document for the README, and then you have the actual file here that you need that you're missing from brute force date data. Okay. Uh, the document just tells how to do it or use it or whatever. I already know what to do, so and I'm going to show you so I don't need it. I'm going to delete that. And then, okay, so after you got this file, you will want to go into your uh, Windows button here, go to your computer, and of course, you go to your C drive and you go to your 86 files. Okay, and that's where Brute Force Save Data will be, will be the program. When you scroll down, you can see Brute Force Save Data. Okay, then you click on it, and then you can see all the files that it comes with for it to run, except for the one file that, for the except for the one file that's missing from it that you need for it to run, because it's not in here. So then you just go back basically, and you just take this file and drag and drop, and it'll this uh, window will pop up. You see, you need uh, to provide administrator permission to move to this folder, blah blah blah, and then you press continue to confirm it, and then it's going it's going to Go inside of there, and then, of course, it's you'll scroll down, and you'll see it right here. Okay, so now it's in there, it's fine, so everything's great, it's working fine. You can now run it. Now you have this right here, this icon. You don't need this anymore because if you keep, if you, if you try to run it again, it won't. It will say the same thing over and over. So you don't really, you really have to file in there, so you're fine. So these three right here is what you really need is this here. So you can just delete these three. Okay, so I'm going to delete those. Okay, and now I have this one here. Now, once you're done with these, you can delete these two if you don't want. Keep the win raw, definitely. You're gonna need that for the future. Um, very good um, program here. So, if y'all don't know about this, uh, y'all need to get into it. Win raw. Okay, so uh, brute force save data. You double click on it, and then the program is gonna open up. No error. Okay. And of course, I already have uh, like game save files up here, PS3, which is uh, the Resident Evil 5 game save that I got from a PS3 and uh, Resident Evil 6, the games that I have, uh, game saves, which I'm going to apply the cheats to. Okay, so once the program is up, it already had read or read the RE5 file. Um, if it doesn't read it, then you can also go inside of your folder and what you're looking for you double you click on double click on the folder and you're gonna get save data double click on it and you get the blues file this is the file that you need for you to alter or to to do the cheats and so basically um, you just take this file and you can drag and drop it inside of here that's one way to do it or you can get this open you can go to this little button here and uh, click on that and then it'll bring you up this browser folder here and it'll, all the destination of all the folders you know which one you want to go to re6 or re5 or whatever game save that you have or what folder that you want to click on to do the cheats you just select on that folder and of course here's the blue folder here from the re5 and then here's the re6 when you click on it here and it'll show save data blues here so I'm going to do the re5 or the Resident Evil 5 blues folder click on that okay and then it's gonna run it 
and then you kind of click on this to highlight it and then of course it will show the specs at the bottom meaning it read it and then of course you want to go to decrypt PFD decrypt all files and then you're gonna say do you want to decrypt data yes and then it's gonna change like this into green don't worry it's fine and then you go to cheats and then you apply all the cheats and then it'll give you all the cheats that this game which is Resident Evil 5 have for you to apply to so you can just click on the box or select the box that you want the cheats which cheats you want rapid fire doesn't matter um, or you can select all if you want to and um, just click on you know on them and then you just, after you're finished select the ones you want apply and then I have applied to one two cheats and then okay to confirm it and after you're done that you want to encrypt PFD encrypt de encrypt decrypt files do you want to encrypt the select files yes and then after you're done that you want to verify the PFD and it's gonna click over like that and then you go to rebuild rebuild full yes okay and once that's done that's all you need to do guys and so now the your file or your game save is now been altered to cheats you ch add, add, apply the cheats to your uh, game save and so now you can take this here and um, put it on your USB drive put it back on your PS3 and um, override the one that you had or the original file that you had in your PS3 for the cheats the ones that you altered or you can either you can delete it first or before deleting it you want to actually make a, a spare copy just in case anything goes wrong and of course uh, override the cheats that you had or delete the ones that you had in originally and apply the cheat the cheats the one that you just altered into your PS3 by using USB drive and um, that's basically it man um, um, if y'all have any problem uh, just uh, uh, leave a comment or uh, that's it um, basically that's it um, Y'all have a wonderful day. Um, remember to subscribe. Thank you.